na kusu musilale lale lale na kusu musilale bado mapambano 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 our salaries are separated from the rest of capitation. So, I want to tell the world, as SECU we are joining other universities in the country to protest the unfairness that is being meted on the dons and the people who produce graduates of this country. You may not imagine that this country in the whole of Africa produces one of the best human capital in, the, in, in Africa. In fact, we are number three. And that is why you see the diaspora treating our human resource as a hot kick. Yes. How is it that we are producing so much and making so much for this country through diaspora remittances and they cannot respect us as dons? That it has come a point where a professor or somebody works in a university for over 50 years and he walks home a poor person. Yes. This is our right that we should be paid fairly by the government of Kenya which we serve and Seku. We have given Seku our blood, toil, and sweat. Yeah. They have a duty to pay us. Yes. Are you ready to fight for your yeah. life? Yeah. As I wind up so that I can give my friends a chance, I want to tell the world that as Seku, we are decided. We are persuaded. It is our right. We are not looking back. Yeah. The chairman of Wasu Seku chapter and I'm also the umbrella chairman of all the three unions that have presence in this university Kusu, Wasu and Kudeya. Kudeya are not here today because their strike was recalled last week because of a court order that was issued by the employer but Kusu and Wasu are present here today in their numbers. And I want to thank them for coming in large numbers. They have come because they are ready to fight for their rights. As members of university staff, we cannot take it anymore when we see our interests, the main interest being threatened. We are concerned that as university staff, even across the country, we are being discriminated against by the government of the day. KK government. That last year, we saw the president make an announcement that all public servants below the office of permanent secretary be given an award of between 7 and 10 percent and this was given to all other public servants the police the military the teachers in basic education doctors everybody was given and we are also aware that parliamentarians were given between 10 and 14 percent but they never gave a point to university yeah. So we are here to protest that discrimination yes. and demand that our share be given with immediate effect. Yes. And we are saying that besides giving that share, as SECU we are also concerned that our CBA 2017-2021 has never been settled. Yes. Yes. 
Our arrears have not been paid. Yes. Because the government has refused to release the money. Yes. Why is it that other universities have been paid but we have not been paid? Yeah. We had the VC of M who chairs the VC's caucus say that the new funding model is working and he has actually settled all the arrears in respect of Embu staff to the last coin. Did you hear that? Yes. yes. That is a lie. Yes. How is it that we have not received our pay? We are demanding that the government of the day releases the money to Seku so that we get our pay. And we are not back to class, to lecture halls, until they settle every coin in respect of our members. How is it that we have waited for a hoping seven years? The CBA was supposed to have been settled in 2017. We are now in 2024. <laughs> so we are saying they must pay that money in total and must pay now or never. Are you going back? And I want to speak about two things. One is the body called SRSC. <clears throat> the constitution came up with the body of SRSC to uh, try and equalize the payments of public workers and civil servants. But then it has become a body that is there to please only the politicians. Many times we have seen them looking for the MPs, the ministers, other big public officers to give them money. While we, the workers, who do the, the, the manual job on the ground, they don't even care about us. What they do, they always write an advisory that uh, anything, any money can be added to the salary of a member of staff when funds are available. We don't know how and when these funds will ever be available. So SRC, and I want to urge our members, yeah. soon we'll be collecting signatures throughout the country. Mm. Yeah. yeah. To take that body home, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't need us yeah, yeah. yeah. The other issue is about uh, the new funding model. We are being told we'll be paid by the fees that the students pay, which is an insult. Even a nursery school teacher, a primary school teacher, a secondary school teacher, they are being paid from the exchequer. Why the universities staff? Are they being told they will be paid from fees? Does judges, when they give fines, do they get their salaries from the fines that they award to, 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 to convicts? No. They don't. No. So why are we being told they will be paid using the school fees that the students pay? We say no to this. The other thing I want to talk about is the commissions that the government continues forming. We had a commission that came up with a new funding model. Apparently, some of the members are have been VCs of universities and they lie to the president of a model that is not working. That is the reason why we don't have money. It could be working for big universities but for, for, for small universities it can't work. So we say no. We need money from the exchequer just like the other public servants. True. We are ever being called public servants when we are being tasked. Mm. But when we are being given uh, salary increments, we are civil servants. Yeah. Then as RC says, we are better paid than the other civil servants. So the university staff suffering to that because of that. So thank you very much. We will not go back to work. We will not go back to work yes. until yes. the yes. Yes. CBA is fully negotiated and implemented. Thank you. Boya Kivai, the chapter secretary who was set. Um, today, members of the fourth estate, we have invited you to tell you about our tragedies. We are going through a lot. Even as the chairman has enumerated the national problems, as a chapter we have enormous challenges. <laughs> Let me tell you this, uh, members of staff have not been paid for the last six years, their annual increments. Yes. They are suffering because they have not been cushioned and getting inflation and all that. These members of staff, their circle deductions have not been remitted 
for the last six, seven months. These members of staff, their bank loans have not been remitted for the last six, seven months. These members of staff, their uh, pension dues have not been remitted to the trustees and whoever else for the last seven months. Please, please, please go and tell the world that if the situation is not unrest, our people will retire and die because they have no pension. Our people are going to be, you know, so disgruntled and therefore the production and productivity is going to go down. Yes. We want to tell you people that as we stand here today, we have no working medical cover. Yeah. These yeah. people, when they get to hospitals, they are frustrated by a discriminatory thing known as Afyambora, mm -hmm. provided by SRC. Yeah. So poor such yes. that a don is covered, CIC, a don is covered for only 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. Other workers are covered for 100 shillings. Yes. They spend a whole day waiting for this to be actually um, authorized mm -hmm. by CIC insurance company. We have told our PC, we have told our chair of council, we have told the university management board, we don't want CIC. Yes. We don't want this insurance. Yes. Members of the fourth estate, I want you to mark that Seku is a university located 80 kilometers from the main town. Coming this way to Seku, is 40 kilometers and getting back to town is 40 kilometers. We cover a total of 80 kilometers per day, 200 from work. Are you aware that the kind of uh, uh, commute allowance we get was designed in 2013? And out of that, it has remained in force for the last 12 years. We have no local CBA, and these people are suffering. The CBA that is existing on the questions of workload, on the questions of terms of service for workers, has been floated by the university management and the university council. We are going to remain out here until we have a working CBA, until we have um, a good medical cover, until our insurance, our pension, our circle deductions are done, such that at the end of the day, we want to do this thing once and for all. Oh, yeah. We are not going to go back. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much.